manifest destiny is a belief that the United States should own all the land between the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Mend means, means to continue. Hello, Tina. Dad? Yeah, hi. I guess this is a little awkward. Uh, what are you doing here? I've always been here. It's just that now you can see me. I can't believe <laughs> I've missed you, too. But you... You died. Is, so that car that... Did I? Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, my God. I'm... <laughs> hey, easy now. You're okay. You're alive. You're fine. Breathe. You stopped the car. You stopped it. I'm... You can't get out. Sorry. Dad! Get me out of here! It doesn't work that way, hon. What is this? In a half second, that car is going to T-bone your car clear across this intersection and into someone's yard. I'm here because you have a choice to make. I choose to be someplace else. That wasn't one of the choices. You're granted free will. You can choose to survive through this, or you can take my hand and come with me. Those are the choices? Live, duh. What? Do I end up brain dead or something? Well, you won't be the same for the rest of your life, but you'll have a broken arm, leg, shattered pelvis, a couple of years of rehab and physical therapy, you'll miss a year of school, some permanent scars and memory loss. It's not so bad. But if you choose to come with me, you will save hundreds of lives. What? How could I save lives by dying? Your passing initiates a traffic signal in this intersection. It prevents dozens of collisions. Your mom starts a charitable organization in your name that saves teens from potential driving deaths. Some of those teens grow up to be important community leaders. None of that happens if you live. Mom, this will kill mom. She barely made it when you passed away. Your mom's a lot stronger than anyone knows. But you're right. She'll be devastated and barely make it through. But that's her life path. That's what she has to learn. But I have to learn too. I can't die. I have a history final. My volleyball team has a good chance of making state this year. I'm going to prom with Brent McGinnis. Brent. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, you're not going to make it to prom. He takes Jill Hollingsworth instead. That bitch? She's not a bitch. Jill Hollingsworth is a total bitch. She bags on anyone who doesn't have money. In sixth grade, she squirted water on my pants and told everyone I peed myself. Don't do that. Jill should be hit by a car, not me. Look, Jill's mom has low self-image. She only values everything expensive and it's rubbed off on her daughter. You know, she was molested for years by her father. I didn't know that. See, nobody knows anybody else's story. Look, Jill has a life of self-loathing and man-hating ahead of her, but Brent is a nice guy and they actually turn out to be good for each other. They start dating and after college they get married and start a family. Well, I'm so glad my getting main brings everyone together. It really takes a sting out of it. Don't be that way. How am I supposed to be? Happy, overjoyed that everyone benefits from me getting crushed by whoever's in that car? Connie. Oh, Connie. Does Connie die? She walks away unharmed, actually. What? It's an SUV. You're in a Beetle. She ran the stop sign. It's her fault. Oh, but Connie gets to live to be a happy old lady and I get to be dead at 17? That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I'm not saying it's right. She was arguing with her ex over custody and she got distracted. This is a bunch of crap. She probably wins the lottery after this. No, no, after this she becomes severely depressed, then addicted to prescription medication. She loses custody of her children, and a year later, she tries to kill herself. There you go. We can't let this happen to Connie, so I should live then. After years of rehab, she goes back to school, gets a master's degree in family therapy. She starts public speaking and helps a lot of people. You help her with her life lesson. It's tough and it's painful, 
But through all this, she learns to forgive herself. And she teaches others how to live with a really big mistake. But what about me? I mean, fine about prom, but I want to go to college. I want to go backpack through Europe, get married. I'll never have a family of my own. What about my life lesson? You've already learned it. I'm only 17 years old, Dad. Oh, Tina, you learned how to take care of all these responsibilities that you never asked for. You took care of your brother. You became a mom and a dad, all the while going through your own personal pain. Your life lesson was to be selfless, and you learned it all so quickly. It was really exciting to watch. So I learned, and now I die young. Could have waited till after prom at least. You want to hear a secret? There'll be other proms. Is, is it getting brighter? It's getting closer. We're running out of time. This isn't fair. It, it wasn't fair that you left. This isn't fair now. It has to be unfair. How come? Because if it wasn't, then this would be heaven. Remember what I always told you? How do we learn about ourselves? Yeah, we learn through struggle, through discomfort. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Why do we have to learn anything? To evolve as human spirits. Like you. You learn so much so fast that you're being asked to come back. Do some special work with your old man. <laughs> like an angel? <laughs> more like a guidance counselor. Believe me, you can do a whole lot more over there than you can from here. You'll protect and help those that you care about and teach them how to find their way so that they can learn on their own. Dad, when you died, were you given a choice? Yeah, it's the toughest choice I ever had to make. So your death started my life lesson. See, you're already beginning to understand. I won't get to say goodbye to anyone. You will. I'm sorry, love. We're out of time. You have to make your choice now. I, I'm, I'm scared. That's why I'm here. When you cross over, everything will be revealed and you will understand. I don't want this, Dad. I, I don't want to die. No, but I'm here for you. You have to make your choice now. If you don't make a choice, you give up free will and the choice will be made for you. You'll be lost, alone, and I can't be with you and I can't help you. You have to make your choice. Make your choice now, Tina. Please. What's with the face? It's gonna hurt. <laughs> what is this? Aren't you supposed to take me to the sky or something? I can only show you. Look into that light. Look deeper. You see it? 